the now least for Lidl to join on stage for the shoot the dress, please. Good afternoon everyone, I'm sure you're all enjoying the heat. Uh, before I start with the main speech, I would like to emphasize a charity that uh, the King's University Alumni Association is running called the Graduating Class Gift. The idea behind this campaign is to celebrate our achievements by leaving a little bit of support for those joining Kingston in the form of a donation. All the monies that gets raised will be given to students who are experiencing financial hardship or need an extra support for their projects. And every pound you were to donate will be matched by the Alumni Association. So if you were to be donating three pounds, it will automatically transform into six pounds. In order to give your donation, all you have to do is either go to the um, Guildhall reception, where you can give the donation directly, or um, text GRAD18, followed by your clear number, to 70111. If you donate three pounds or more, uh, you can get a gift as an exchange. Firstly, I'd like to thank the event team for giving me such a remarkable honour to be able to stand here and express my appreciation for this university. The interesting side of this is I am representing all the graduates here today. So I'm, so, I'm sure some of you are probably thinking, who are you? And I'm sure everyone is thinking, I never got the email, that this guy was going to represent me here today. And the question is, why am I up here? Well, I have an enormous feeling of gratitude towards this university school of architecture. The faculty, the university, and the people that have been part of this adventure. And I thought this was the best opportunity to show this gratitude. Within these past seven years, I have done here at King's University a degree and a master's. And I can only find one definition for both experiences. A joyful, altering adventure. I say altering because the expectations and desires we all start when we uh, start this journey change as we go through it. This changing happens because of what we did, hence what we experienced, but most importantly, because of the people that were with us throughout the journey and the ones that over time joined us and walked with us. This speech is hence dedicated to that group of people who have been each of our university trips one worth living for. Therefore, I'd like to give, on behalf of all the fellow graduates, both the ones who are here and the ones who couldn't attend today, a massive thank you to all the parents and relatives for your endless support, for all the love and care you give every single day to us the graduates, for all the knowledge that you have shared and still share in order for us to become whatever we set ourselves to be and far beyond. A massive thank you to all the people that work in Knights Park, the workshop, staff members of the school office, the people from Cusco, cleaners, caretakers, security, the staff in the cantina, the art shop, the Knights Park library staff. They all work very hard to keep the school up and running and have always tried to help us with the best, with the best of their extent. A massive thank you to all of our lecturers and tutors for being patient when, we're, when we were being a bit too surreal or slightly stubborn, for striving to push us to limits we wouldn't even consider, and for giving us the tools and the knowledge to make our thoughts and ideas a reality. And now, I'd like to take this opportunity to particularly thank a specific group of teachers who not only managed to teach me about architecture, but also about life. Airmatch graduates, I'd like you all to please stand up just for just one brief second. Please, do me the honor. All the Airmatch graduates, please. <laughs> ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor and the enormous pleasure to present to you the best teachers I've had in my entire life. You guys show me what does being responsible mean, not just for myself, but for others too. And by that I mean being aware of how your words and your actions could affect someone. You guys show me the enormous power of teamwork to the point that I now can only think of architecture as an exercise with a team. 
you guys show me what it is to care for each other. With simple actions like asking me how I am, wishing me good luck, or helping me when I wasn't sure about something. And with these little actions, you guys gave me the strength day in and day out to butter the worst traces of my obsessive compulsive disorder. <laughs> and therefore, over the past two years, you guys have made me feel extremely happy. An even bigger, bigger favour. I like, I like to ask all the graduates in this room to please stand up as well. All of you, please, all of you, all of you. Because you all too deserve to stand out for also becoming true teachers that can give extremely valuable lessons to those around you and to yourselves as well. Some of you are probably thinking that I have no idea who you are. And you have no idea what I've been through. I think I might know partly, and I'm going to explain why. We've all struggled to get here. Financial struggles, health struggles, psychological struggles, family and personal struggles. Some of you may have suffered some of these, some of you may have suffered, suffered them all. The struggles I'm talking about are those moments when you felt you were going through a tough jungle, naked, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a massive, nasty wall comes in your way. It almost, it almost felt unfair, it always seems unfair, and painful. At first you thought of taking the detour or just give up. But then you decided that step by step, you will climb it, and you did. The whole of it. And then you realise that you were not so weak after all. Then you notice that the top of that wall led you to an even clearer pathway. And you saw more walls on the way, some were higher, but they didn't look massive anymore. I'd like you all to please remember the, uh, sorry, I'd like you all to please take a few seconds to remember those times when you were climbing those nasty walls, because they are the ones that show you who you truly are. They are the reason behind us being here today. Now we're celebrating not just the accomplishment of officially knowing useful knowledge and techniques, but also celebrating the great souls you've all managed to become through hard work and patience. Personally, I can see all of you being right now full of energy, bravery, empathy, and therefore I'm sure you all will face the great power, with great power the big challenges the world and life will give you. And if any of you ever encounter a challenge that feels it is too much, Remember that you're the flower that blossoms in the jungle of struggle. Remember today and how you got here. Thank you. <laughs>